Good morning, folks. We've got a number of excellent stories today. I'm going to try to get out a little video snack for you later this afternoon. We've got internal news as well, and we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on the sun were quiet. The plasma filaments we saw dancing around the limbs in the opening are less prominent in the Earth-facing position, and the sunspots have remained quiet. Big on the south, developing on the north, Big One is heading out with the same magnetic complexity and failing to flare, and the development of that complexity is still waiting in the northern group, need a bit more development. Quick look at the solar wind. Important line here is top left in the purple. The plasma speed rose quickly and is tapering off now as we exit the coronal hole stream without having it cause much geomagnetic effect. Does anyone remember that story about galaxies strung like pearls on a string? It was huge cosmological news in 2014, and they have now repeated the discovery at a smaller scale, with star clusters inside the Milky Way. And folks, this is a major scalability point, and it points to the structure of the fields within galaxies, something we went over in our top story yesterday. Sticking with the cosmological scale momentarily, regardless of which scientific paradigm you prefer, there is a big lithium problem. Where is it? It's been spotted far less often in space than expected, and today, they decide, they simply need to expect a little bit less. I'm not sure if that's science or giving up, but we're moving on. Folks, as if we haven't gone over enough of these small Nova star anomalies, here's another one they barely know how to categorize within the white dwarf field. Another small Nova star acting like it wants to be something else. Best climate paper I've seen at the global solar forcing scale in a few weeks here. Excellent identification of the major effects on the westerlies in both hemispheres. It is the solar effect on large-scale systems like this, the Hadley cells in the intertropical convergence zone, which allow it to have such control on ENSO, NAO, PDO, and various other oscillations in large-scale patterns. Folks, when I said that they were going to fix the isotope dating and bring those scary German volcanic eruptions closer and closer to the 12,000 years ago mark, I was indeed hoping they'd move in bigger chunks than 126 years at a time. We'll take it, I guess. Tons of evidence that this part of the Eiffel volcano complex was a volcanic match for the last catastrophe, the same complex that is pretty darn scary with the next catastrophe on the horizon. Speaking of such scary things, yet another confirmation, about 20 in the last two years, that some of the megafauna presumed to have been hunted to extinction by humans actually took massive hits during climate shakeups, which would be the Heinrich events and stadial transitions, which also match up with the 6,000 and 12,000 year harmonics of the disaster cycle. Folks, this gorgeous shot is from the Hope Craft, scoping Mars auroral signatures, Remember this for that special video tonight. I'm going to show you how we know Mars had a crustal shift. Folks, since we added the acreage to bring Observer Ranch from 71 up to 77 acres, and since we're about to get major approvals and begin progress, things are about to accelerate. And that does have to include the cost of those long-term lots, since they will come with improvements. ObserverRanch.com Lastly, folks, our children's book trilogy is on special this weekend for 4th of July, you can find those, our textbook, our catastrophe book, and more at spaceweathernews.square.site. We greatly appreciate your support. Come back this afternoon. I'll hopefully be serving that little treat around dinner in the eastern states. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe because we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.